Hey guys, it's the Athenian Beekeeper. Welcome to another episode. We're here in beautiful Greece. It's getting sunnier, warmer and brighter. This is what beekeeping like in the most beautiful country in the world. Today I'm here to get the mating nukes ready where I'm gonna put the queen cells in so they can hatch and uh, be eventually be able to make the mating flight and eventually get mated um, by uh, drones and uh, be able to uh, start uh, laying eggs to start a new colony. So uh, let's see! I'm going to be using two types of uh, mating nukes. This is the regular uh, mini mating nuke, pretty much just a small beehive. Uh, this is where I'm going to add the bees. This is like a little frame. The bee, I put some uh, wax strip so the bees will build that out. And uh, the, queen, the queen cells will be put here so uh, they will be able to, uh, able to make the mating flights and come back and start uh, laying eggs. This is a beehive called Q8. It's made in Greece for uh, professional beekeepers, mostly for uh, queen rearing. They can put the queen cells and uh, use it as a queen bank. They can use it for queen rearing, so uh, the queen bee can get mated. Let's see from inside. As you can see, there's eight parts for uh, each uh, queen. And uh, these are feeders, top feeders for syrup and candy. And uh, this is where the frames will go that I have already put in the other beehives for them to build up. I'll put them here, I'll put the queen cell and uh, they will be able to make a new uh, queen. Uh, each compartment has its own door, uh, like down here. So uh, this is for the bees to separate from the other ones. Okay, see you in a bit. So we'll start with this hive. This is where I have the Technoset uh, Q8 uh, special frames. Uh, I'm gonna take them out and uh, put them in the Q8. Okay, let's see. So these are the frames. They usually don't look like this. The reason why there's a big hole here is because uh, I used those last year and uh, I had the issue with the wax moths, so they ate this part. Uh, so the bees clean this part and they will eventually build it again. So there's no issue there. The special thing about these frames is that they can uh, fold. So I can break them in half, like this, and then they'll fit in with no issues. I just have to make sure that I don't take the uh, queen bee from this hive and uh, move them into the mating nukes. So I have to check the frames again and be careful with that. This is the other Q8 frame. Uh, it was a foundation, so uh, they built it out. Looks like they did a good job. It still needs a little bit more to be done. Usually we want them to be capped. That's about the right time to put them in. I put them a little bit late, so I'll use them for now. There's not too many uh, bees on this frame, so what I will do is I'll take a uh, few frames with the uh, young brood, uh, young larva preferably and I'll shake them in a bag, I'll spray them and then I'll put them uh, in the Q8 so there's more uh, bee population uh, that's gonna be able to support the new queens uh, that we'll put in. I'm looking for the queen so I make sure I haven't put her in there and I'll take some of these frames with uh, bees and uh, shake them uh, into the bag which I will put into the Q8 mating nukes. Here's the queen. Right here. You see her? This is a beautiful queen. I marked her last time, but the paint has come off. But this is her. So we don't want, we want her to stay in this hive. Okay, I'll leave her out for a little bit, and then put her back when I'm done. Uh, 
So right now, I'm gonna show you the process of how I'm gonna shake the peas uh, into the bag and then I'm gonna put them in the Q8. This is a, a spray to keep the bees down so they don't fly out. When I'm gonna shake, uh, the older bees will fly but the younger bees will not be able to fly because they haven't learned how to fly yet. And we want young bees. I have a bag of bees, the older bees will fly out and then they, I'll spray the younger ones on this day down. bag of bees here so let's go see the rest I got the bag of my bees and I need to make sure that these the doors are locked because we don't want them to fly out shake half of the bees in here Got plenty of bees in here. So next step. These are the frames that we took out, so we'll put those in. So right now I made two uh, mating nukes and uh, I'm gonna do this uh, on the, this size too. I'm gonna put this ready as well and then I'll put in the queen cells. Hey guys, so I collected from another strong hive uh, more bees and uh, I sprayed them into this uh, bag and now I'm gonna put them into the mini mating nukes. The thing about this uh, mating nukes is that uh, there's a hatch on the bottom, with a slide open. This is where I'm gonna put the bees in here, and then I'll close it.
the excess I'll just put it back. So the final step is to put the queen cells in them and uh, add the uh, feed, which is uh, sugar syrup, so they have something to eat while they're in there. We have them closed. Uh, the reason why they're closed is so uh, they don't fly back to their original hives. Thank you.